order is read. Remembrance Day 2020 is the 27th anniversary since it was first delivered by the Prime Minister at the time, the Honourable Paul Keating. For those who don't know, the unknown Australian soldier was one of the 60,000 dead on foreign soil in World War I. However, unlike most, his identity was never discovered. He is recognised today as a symbol to honour the men and women who have laid down their lives for our country. His tomb is a reminder of what we have lost in war and what we have gained. The following eulogy reads this. We do not know this Australian's name and we never will. We do not know his rank or his battalion. We do not know where he was born, nor precisely how and where he died. We do not know where in Australia he had made his home or when he left for the battlefields of Europe. We do not know his age or his circumstances, whether he was from the city or the bush, what occupation he left to become a soldier, or religion, if he had a religion, if he was married or single. We do not know who loved him or whom he loved. If he had children, we do not know who they are. His family is lost to us, as he was lost to them. We will never know who this Australian was. Yet he has always been among those whom we have honoured. We know that he was one of the 45,000 Australians who died on the Western Front. One of the 416,000 Australians who volunteered for service in the First World War. One of the 324,000 Australians who served overseas in that war and one of the 60,000 Australians who died on foreign soil. One of the 100,000 Australians who have died in, this, in wars this century. He is all of them and he is one of us. Remembrance Day, also known as Armistice Day, is a day that we come together to recognise and commend efforts and sacrifices made for our country, not only in war but all conflicts. Remembrance Day gives us the opportunity to appreciate the country we live in and the things we take for granted. It gives us the opportunity to be thankful of the sacrifice our ancestors have made for us, leaving their friends and families behind so that we can enjoy such luxuries. Remembrance Day, celebrated by the poppy. The poppy is used as a symbol to remember the fallen soldiers who have lost their lives in conflict. This particular flower is symbolised because of the very flower that covered the many fields in which World War I was fought. This is described in the following poem, In Flanders Fields. In Flanders Fields the poppies blow, Between the crosses, row on row, That mark our place, and in the sky, The larks still bravely singing fly, Scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead, short days ago, we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow. Loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you from failing hands we throw. The torch be yours to hold it high. If you break faith with us who die. We shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields.